Greetings! And welcome to this playthrough of Project Warlock. Which, we're going to ask a, and answer a simple question. Can you beat the game without upgrades? Short answer is yes. Long answer is no, unless you don't count back, backpack upgrades as actually an upgrade. And I'm meaning, like, you don't pick up any of the spells, you don't use any of the other spells, you don't put points into, like, anything but backpack. Where you're only allowed 10 points of anything, so we're using the backpack rule, generally. So you go through the entire thing without ever picking up anything but the basic weapons in it, anything. So, ultimately, the game is different from the, uh, the, the, the run that we uh, previously attempted this whole situation on. So, like, I don't want lives to be a thing. And the, the earlier version technically let you get away with not caring about lives. So, if there's no real... Yeah, there's no real difference between hard and hardcore anymore. So, just gonna go on hard. Just so we don't have to worry about, like, any lives whatsoever. Because that's not what we're here to answer if I can actually finish the game or not. Pretty sure they changed the beginning, too. Wait. What's with the sword? Why do I have the axe? Is the game glitching again? Or do we always start with the axe? I don't remember. Anyway, let's totally forget uh, what I just said there. Because I'm misremembering everything. And I'm not going to remember where all the secrets are in this game, so... I mean, most of the time I don't need the secrets anyway. Why are they dropping bullets already? This game's been always kind of weird for how uh, things work with it. Because I've been able to get away with, like, randomly having the Uzi at this point of the game. Because of how saves work, I guess. Of course, they always want to get into your face for some reason. Alright, so again, none of these uh, stations should be used. Okay, that's not one of them. And... Oh, right, space. And capacity is the only uh, stat we're upgrading. Now, I can totally ignore it until I need it, because you can play most of the game without upgrading that stat whatsoever. But it's kind of one of those stats you kind of need. So it, you you really do need like backpack upgrades because you run. Is there more boxes in here than there was? I mean, I have screenshots of this, so I could actually go back and tell. But anyway. It's not like I'm not going to use the staff whatsoever. Because technically it's the pistol of the game.
I don't think this was supposed to happen. Anyway. I'm running out of ammo. Still gaining ammo for stuff I don't even have for a while. I'm not sure if I mentioned secrets or not, but I'm gonna do my best to remember where they all are. Hopefully not needing to, like, constantly, uh... Because I don't remember if there's anything in here whatsoever, because... I know that key's a trap. Well, I got shotgun shells. Always nice. I am getting hit in the face a lot, though. Okay, there's only three secrets for this map. The last one is up the stairs, I believe. Okay, I don't need to go in there. At least not yet. This section used to be also very hard er than it used to be. Kind of glad that it toned it down a bit, even though I had little to no issue with it. Especially playing how I do. I don't think that's supposed to be there either. I don't know why, but I keep thinking the staff is on, uh, slot one. Oh, they fixed that too. Get this out of the way. Is there any health around? Or did I drink it in like some rapid succession? Did I drink it all by accident? Because there's no coming back to these levels after you're done, so make crap or whatever. Yeah, there's a lot of pistol ammo in this one, so no need to hold back on the pistol. Can 
considering there's a box right there. Okay. It's always confusing to know which... Ow! Doors are openable sometimes, too. More shots to kill. Okay, I have the yellow key. That's a red door. I'll come back to that. Uh There yet. I don't remember if there's anything down that hallway or not. Sometimes there, you think there's something like in one of the walls, but you're not really entirely sure. Sometimes they're not even marked. You just gotta test them all sometimes. I mean, I, I think at most they're only really gonna give you, like, quick access to, like, early weapons. And I keep taking fireballs to the face. Taking fireballs to the face is not really that great of an idea. Like, as you can see on the map, you, you, you think there would be something here, of all things, because of how much space is, like, behind it. Like, is there any point of going into these rooms, for example, aside from one, two treasure items? And I'm full of SMG ammo, so I can't pick that up. Kind of weird that uh, enemies are already dropping that ammo type. But like I said, there is plenty of ammo. And again, we're not really caring about secrets way too... Ooh. Way too much? Like, I... I totally forgot about this room. Mostly because, A, experience doesn't really matter to us. And two... Experience doesn't matter to us. <laughs> Because we're not really going to upgrade anything be beyond capacity, and we only really need 10 points of that. I'm just firing randomly into the fog of war. I'm out of ammo. And he blew himself up. Great. I need ammo. Yeah, I realize I said 
that not to worry about ammo whatsoever, but you can still run out. And well, obviously the how? Where did you come from? But again, there there is plenty of uh, ammunition strewn about this area. So once again, don't really have to care too much about wasting it. Well, you do, but it, I I don't know if the uh, the weapon or the ammo that's dropping for like these uh, these enemies and such are like you know supposed to be doing that at the at this time. Which, which is kind of one of those situations where it's like, is is there something broken, or am I just not? Re <sighs> if you see me turning the wrong direction a lot, it's because for some reason my sound is reversed, and this game has directional audio for some reason. Well, directional in the, the the way of, like, if something's to your right, it'll make a sound on the right, and then if something's on your left, it'll make a sound on the left. It's also been a while since I played, so... Uh, yes, the crossbow. The crossbow piercing is very nice. Ah, I keep turning around. Especially against, like, larger groups. I mean, it's better than the alternative type of crossbow. <laughs> I gotta stop turning around when I hear, like, sounds of my gear. Because it's kind of disorientating. I really hope that's not, like, transferring to, like, the end video, too, and it'll be like... Okay. Be beneficial if you still want lined up for me. Okay. Oh, hi. Isn't there something along this wall somewhere? Again, mismemory and, you know, not really searching for secrets. I don't like using the crossbow against the uh, the gatekeepers. Is it the gatekeeper? I don't know. I've never had the uh, HP bar up for this game, so I can't really tell you the names of enemies except like imp. Oh, I found the only secret in that map. Ow! At least drop ammo if you're gonna shoot me. Ah. 
Ultimately, this crossbow is kind of the inspiration behind the, the one I redid for, like, uh, Beasts Unleashed. Where it's a piercing crossbow instead of, like, an explosive... Well, the, the, the bolts are still explosive. They just pierce enemies. They are slower, so... And it's the equivalent of using the super shotgun? Although, uh, ripper damage is kind of weird to cal calculate. Ooh, dynamite. Always fun for dynamite. Oh, right. I really hate this sound issue that I'm having. It, it doesn't matter so much in this game, and I realize I just walked around in a circle. But for games where it, it, it's really necessary to know which direction your enemies are coming from, it, it's so annoying. Oh wait, that's the staircase. I am so lost. Don't drink too many of those. Okay, obviously holding the left wall is not helping me whatsoever. Because I'm back at the stairs again. This is just one giant loop. Okay, go right, right, this room. Ultimately, I am missing something somewhere. Okay. Where where did I go wrong here? Also, I like using the scroll wheel to like select weapons apparently and uh, it, it, there's a lot of weapons in this game, especially now that they added the sword. I mean, what's so different about it than the axe? Again, no indication I could open that door whatsoever. Oh, wait, I have the right key. Ah! That's kind of on me, actually. I don't like the sword that much. The yeah, axe just feels nicer and uh, has longer reach. Of course, I should be using my magical weapons a little bit more because... Okay, that's another broken hit. Extra life. Like, I'm not trying to conserve ammo here because... 
I don't think there is a reason to. As I was, a lot of enemies just don't drop it. It's just fun to use the melee weapons. Uh, most of the time, anyway. Wait, I picked up a dynamite and yet have no dynamite to speak of. Okay, that was weird. Did I throw the key right into me there? Ah. Right. Um. Even if I aim straight, it looks like it just veers off into a different direction. Uh, right, so there's a secret somewhere around here. Oh, also this beam is piercing, so, uh, yeah, that's fun. The staff is a good weapon, too. I thought there was like a secret in this corner. What is it, this corner I'm thinking of? Right, uh, so I don't know how bad decorations are for, like, blocking shots and everything. I mean, the ones you can obviously destroy are definitely the worst. Okay, uh... Yeah, I don't want to lose any crossbow bolts because you don't really get that many of them. Ow. Okay, there's the secret I'm thinking of. And we're back at the beginning. And somehow I have full ammo again. Like it, it never fails. You're like, I'm not gonna have enough ammo, and then all of a sudden you have like a surplus for no apparent reason. find that one seek there it is like yeah mana is the only like source of ammo that I really never have enough of well 
until later game, obviously, but then it's like bullets and shotgun shells and because enemies are stingy on what they drop. And stop aiming so low. All right, and cheesing is over. And this is basically where I'm gonna call this part. Uh, so yeah, tune in again for more.